just like that, we're gonna dive straight into this video. As you can tell, I just picked a car up from the shop, went ahead and switched. There's a Borla cat bag that they took off right next to the Team Z upper and lower control arms. Had some things done to the car, so if you've been following the build lately, you'll know that I've had some leftover stuff that I recently purchased over the last couple months, uh, late in last year, and now they're officially in the car. So we have the MBRP exhaust that replaces the Borla Singer exhaust. I love the look. It reminds me of the old uh, catback when it was just a single tips on here. These are, I think, three and a half inch. The Borlas were rounded, so it was a little, had a little more, uh, it took up a little more room. But nothing wrong with that. We're either going to have this Cobra bumper fixed, find a different one, or just do that vice versa and replace this currently for a GT rear bumper. Because as, as you can see, the cutout kind of shows a little more um, from having those quad tips. Got rid of the quad tips. I can always buy new ones if I ever wanted to go back to that uh, look. They were just they were just trash. So quick little view. Upper and lower control arms are in, exhaust is in, eyebach rear, eyebach rear sway bar is in. That was the other thing that they went ahead and fixed and put in. Um, and that neutral safety switch, just with that clutch pedal when you put it to the floor. It signals for the starter to kick over the flywheel and start. This one was acting like an automatic because it was broken and you could have this thing out of gear and just hop in, not even touch the clutch pedal and start the car. Uh, so they went ahead and just replaced that and I think just changed the oil. But when I went to get this car, I forgot the uh, Easy Pass or if you live in Virginia or in the Maryland or surrounding states, I guess, that use the Easy Pass. Uh, it's basically just like a toll. It allows you to just go through the faster toll lanes so I, went, I had to go the long way, which is added maybe like five, 10 minutes. And it made me definitely appreciate this car a little more again. Um, car is not noisy anymore with that rear suspension. This one is all buttoned up tight and everything like that. Um, car handles super smooth, fun little car to drive now. And just hearing that exhaust, different exhaust note. It is different than the Borla exhaust. I think it's a little more aggressive the, uh, the Borla Stinger exhaust is a great exhaust. I had that exhaust for at least 10 years on this car, since probably 2014, 2015. It was just a time for a change. The Stinger is, uh, the Borla Stinger is probably a little more high pitched. This one is quieter, a little bit, probably like a three out of five, and the Borla is like a four and a half out of five, because you have the Borla attacks, which I think are the loudest of that Borla series that they offer. So sounds super great. Obviously you gotta, I guess the sound breaks in or however that works. It's, I'm sure it's gonna get a little louder once I get used to it. Um, but overall, the car handles great, sounds great, drives great. Um, yeah, oh, the only other thing they did was uh, they put that heater blanket or they wrapped the heat blanket around the starter. So that way, just in case, went ahead and replaced that starter. But I wanted just to uh, have like a little secondary defense there and uh, went ahead and had them go ahead and wrap it around the uh, starter to keep the heat from the long tubes from trying to cook this starter as they did the previous one. But this one also is from LMR, so it's a high torque SVE starter, whoever makes it for them or they make it themselves or whoever makes it, I guess. But overall, guys, it's, it's come a long way. The only other suspension components I would replace at this point, I was looking a little earlier, was uh, switching out this K-member for the Maxima Motorsports K-member with their uh, front control arms and their bump screw kit. Nothing wrong with what I have now. I have the Team Z uh, K-member, uh, Team Z control arms, and um, the Team Z bump steer kit. Just kind of want something that's a little, for the future, kind of, I guess if you want to say like, more leans toward driving instead of drag racing because I'm not going to take this car to the track that much. With the Maximum Motorsports, I feel like you have the best of both worlds. Team Z is uh, definitely, you know, one of the best, if not the best, besides like UPR or something for just strictly drag racing. So, you know, switching it up in the future maybe, but overall the plan now is to finish the interior if I want to get the door panels and maybe just replace the stuff in the trunk. Those panels are... Um, yeah, the interior panels or whatever because those are just old they're kind of they're not in bad shape bad shape they're they're not trash but they could be replaced but let's get this uh this car painted back to silver 
but you know that's basically what's left now just kind of getting those windows lined up replacing the regulators and stuff like that the motor so that they are back to normal and getting this car all one color so that's going to do it for this video guys i appreciate you stopping by for this uh super excited for this car sounds great like i said drives great and hopefully taking it out this summer a lot more and uh getting some more photos and videos and stuff like that and more content off it so i'll catch you guys later have a good one